bippity boppity boop. <laughs> Today's video, YouTube, I want to talk about looking outside of yourself. Now, I just want to let this be known. You have been watching my video since day one, or not even day one, but if you have been watching my videos, you know, you know, basically, like, from, like, the middle to the beginning, because I'm still on the grind, but I have, like, 500 90 videos I want to say you know uh but like if you've been watching my videos when I had like 200 videos up and stuff like this you would notice that through all my videos I never said I never said follow me you know I say follow my Instagram but I never say follow me as a person you know I never said I was a prophet I never said a messenger you know you know stuff like that you know same thing that 13 son be saying I never call myself any of these things I just so happen to be in a light and being. I went through my darkness and brought out my light. Enlightenment. Come on, people. Look. Let me tell you this. Look. Basically, if you looking outside yourself, that's when all your problems start. I'm trying to tell you. Listen. When you look outside of yourself for an answer, you that's when all your problems start. Because look, you know all the answers. You are the divine creator. You see what I'm saying? But we are co-creators. We are not God. But we are co-creators. You see what I'm saying? So basically it's like this. A God is a person. Like you wanna if you want to talk about Greek mythology, you know, Zeus, um, Hades and Kratos and all these people like this, you know, just to name a few. Like these people are gods. They basically Poseidon, I forgot about that. Uh these people can snap their fingers and whatever they want to appear in front of them will appear. You see what I'm saying? That's a God. That's somebody that can make it happen. Like Lord Bills from Dragon Ball Z. That is the true definition of a God. You see how he creates stuff, just changes realities and all that stuff? But a co-creator like Goku, you see what I'm saying? He has godly abilities, but he is a co-creator because he can't make things just appear. He can't just change this reality. You see what I'm saying? He's like half human, half God. You see what I'm saying? Co-creator, you know? But if you think about it, if you, like, look towards me for answers, that's looking outside of yourself because I am here to give you advice. I'm here to make you think. I'm not here to make you say, I'm not here to say you better follow this or you better not listen. If you don't listen, you don't listen. That's a choice. I didn't tell you not to listen. If you listen, I didn't tell you to listen, but you listen because you feel what I'm saying. It resonates with you. You see what I'm saying? So... If you're looking towards me for answers like this, make your life better or whatever, that's looking outside of yourself. And that is most definitely, it's a big no-no. Because if you have a problem, you want to ask yourself. You see what I'm saying? Because everything that, look, when we was born, we was born with everything that we needed. And what, we, and what was we born with? We was born with a vessel, a body, a temple. So... We had this temple from the Most High, okay? And it knows everything because the brain is the greatest computer on this planet. That's why you get these computers like Dell, Mac, and um, Toshiba and shit like this. You see what I'm saying? You get these type of computers because it's modeled after the brain, but it will never be the brain. You understand what I'm saying? Understand what I'm saying. They understand what I'm saying. You see, because once you have a problem, and you want to ask yourself, what should you do about this problem? Okay, if you ain't figure it out on a physical level, and an emotional level is kind of fucking you up, you meditate on it. And once you meditate on that problem, once you wake up, you will know how to deal with that problem. Because you went inside of yourself and seen that problem face to face, and now you know how to deal with it. You see what I'm saying? So, you can't look outside of yourself, you know, because self, come on. Self <laughs> knows what self knows. You see what I'm saying? So basically, it's like this. If if you have a problem, you should ask the creator. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you call your savior. You know what I'm saying? You call your savior God. But a lot of people don't want to get into the real etymology of God. Spelled backwards is dog, which stands for dogma. You know what I'm saying? Same principles and whatnot. But, hey... And look, I can break this down some more, man. And when you look at the cross that be on the church, it be having like little squares in it. You see what I'm saying? If 
you think about it, if you fold the cross up on a geometry level, the cross will turn into a cube. Pandora's box. But hey, I'm just saying, whatever you call your creator, God, Jah, Allah, Yeshua, you know what I'm saying, Yahweh, Jesus, you know what I'm saying, whatever you believe in, that's your faith, you know what I'm saying. Whenever you try to tell somebody what to believe in, that's when you fall off because you can't make anybody believe anything. That's their faith, you know what I'm saying? And that's what people don't understand. Like with manifestation and all that stuff, when people pray, they basically manifesting. You see what I'm saying? But in an English definition or a backwards definition of pray is to beg. You know what I'm saying? The etymology of pray is to beg. People don't understand this type of stuff. But I'm just saying, that's if you want to go deep with it. But I don't really get deep with it. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes it gets deep with it. <laughs> no, real talk, though, man. I'm trying to tell you, man. Don't ever look outside of yourself. Love yourself 100%. And once you love yourself 100%, you're a global show. You know?